We're here at the Plaza Hotel for the Sun Li and Gong Foundation's first seasonal auction. In addition to showcasing valuable Chinese collectibles, the foundation will also be putting the proceeds toward creating scholarships for deserving students. This auction, called Swin Auction Treasures of Asia, marks the first seasonal Swin Auction and has gathered 119 antique items from around Asia, mostly from China and dating to the Ming and Qing dynasties. This season's highlight is a series of nearly 100 snuff bottles. Used to contain powdered tobacco, glass snuff bottles are prized for their intricate designs, which, including shaping and painting, must be completed within 20 minutes of heating the glass, or it will turn cold and unusable. The market value of one bottle alone can be around $40,000. The special category of items we're presenting this year are snuff bottles. In addition, we'll also have some landscaping paintings and some enamel and pottery items. For today's auction, we prepared almost 100 snuff bottles, so it should really draw a lot of attention. They're also very popular on the Asian art market, and besides being pleasing to the eye, they're also very small and convenient for collecting. Besides sporting beautiful design and craftsmanship, some of these snuff bottles are particularly valuable because of the portraits depicted on their surfaces, which, with blonde hair and wide eyes, are of Western likenesses. Many snuff bottle artists in China had never seen a European with their own eyes, thus many of their Western portraits were based on the sketches of Giuseppe Castiglione, an Italian Jesuit lay brother who went to China as a missionary and went down in history as a court painter for the Qing Dynasty Emperor Qianlong. These snuff bottles were made by Chinese in China, but the people depicted in their drawings are based on sketches of Europeans by the Italian painter Giuseppe Castiglione. From the Ming to the Qing dynasty, there was a free flow of cultural exchange between the East and West, so Italian artists were able to go to the Forbidden City and create paintings for the emperor. This auction was founded by the Sun Li and Gong Foundation to raise money for student scholarships, which will be awarded to deserving students in the arts and sciences. Although focused mostly in New York, students of all nationalities are eligible to receive these scholarships. The Sun Li and Gong Foundation is to award to a group of people, one is young artists at the School of Art at Columbia University, the other group is the scientists with humanitarian impact on the society. We raised money from this auction so we can award these young artists and the scientists. For our organization, the important thing is to promote cultural exchange between the East and West in New York, and furthermore, to give assistance to New York students and artists to help them improve their productivity. They need society to give them more strength because art can play an important role in changing the world. Sun Auction will be returning each year, once every spring and fall season. For more videos highlighting China's cultural treasures, check out our website at sinovisionenglish.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.